Hi students, this is Miss Gartel again, and we're going to be drawing today a sand castle. One of my other favorite artists is a woman named Mary Cassatt, and she's a famous American artist, and she's famous for doing family pictures. So she does a lot of children and mothers and children, families together. And it's really, she's a beautiful artist. And one of my favorite pictures that she does is this picture of the children on the beach with pails and shovels, and they're digging and playing in the sand. Here's the, the water in the background, boats in the water. Very similar to what we do here in Florida. We go to the beach, we play in the sand, we go in the water, we go in boats. So we have Mary Cassatt to look at. Okay, and what we're going to do is, this is a sandcastle picture that I've drawn, and we're gonna draw that. So the sandcastle is on the beach with the water in the background, the sky. If you wanna make it a sunset, that's nice. And you can add your colors any way you like. If you wanna use color pencils, that's great, or crayons, whatever you have. I'd like to maybe paint a little bit, I think that would come out nice especially for the water and the sky that might be really nice but first we have to draw okay so the first thing we're going to do when we draw is we we know we're going to figure out where on the paper we're going to start our placement is very important so we're going to put this the the major part of the sandcastle right in the middle so just picture if you took a pail, filled it with sand, and you plopped it over, that's kind of what it looks like. It's almost like a rectangle, but we have it rounded on the edges. And now I like to make the little towers on the side. You can make them taller, you can make them smaller. I like to make it smaller so it comes out a little bit down, and it's I attach it. So we have another one coming out here, come down, and we attach that. So there we have the basis of our sandcastle. And if you look on the, the assignment page, I have a few other sandcastles there for you to look at. I like to make the top, which is like they're called, I think they're called turrets. So we can just make these rectangles coming up out of there. And we can do that over here as well on the towers. You be the judge of how many and how, how big they are. Now we're going to add the door. Okay. And we're going to add some windows. On the main part of our sandcastle. I think that looks pretty good. And what I like to do is add like the starfish and shells to, to add some extra detail to the picture because we are on the beach. So that would be like really appropriate for us to add to our picture. So before we go any further, we can make the sand behind the sand castle, kind of like our horizon line. We can then add uh, the, a line for the ocean, which can really just go straight across. And I like to make two lines, all right? And then we have our sky, our ocean, and our beach. At the bottom, I also like to add a few of these little sand bumps, because the sand is not flat, so I like to add some of that. We can put a sun, you can make the sun in the sky or make to make it a sunset, up to you. Let's add some clouds. I was looking at some clouds the other day and they're bumpier on top than on the bottom. But we can add one or two clouds in our picture. I think we like a day where there's not too many clouds. If you wanna add some birds flying, we could do that simple that little M shape, and I like to make it double. So 
my birds have a little bit more body to them. Okay, we can even add like a little head right there. Okay, so I like to make the two M's together just to give the bird a little bit more pizzazz. Okay, pizzazz, that's a silly word. Okay, so to make them stronger. <clears throat> now we're gonna go back and add some more details to our castle. We can put, we can add a flag coming up. All right, there's usually a flag at the castle. So you can add that and make it whatever you like, have a flag. Now we can add some shells to the bottom and all around. Oh, but before we do, let's put, I'd like to put a pail and shovel. So right here, we're going to put a pail and we could go over. So I made two lines and then I'm gonna make that oval at the top. So here it's kind of overlapping with the castle. So I'm gonna erase the lines from that castle so that we see that pail. You might wanna put a little stripe on that pail and you might wanna give it a handle and make sure you give it like that double line to make it look more like a pail. And the shovel, we can put a shovel right over here at the other end. The shovel is just that upside down U shape again. And then we have a handle coming out and we can put like a loop, almost like a donut on the end of that. And there we have our shovel. So we have our pail and our shovel. Let's add some shells now. Or we can even add a sand dollar. I like the sand dollars. So here, on this side, I like to add, we can add a sand dollar. And the sand dollar starts off like a donut. It has that a little hole in the middle. And it has these lines all around. It almost looks like a flower. And then in between, it has these little shapes. It actually has a lot of markings that you might not see in a picture. Okay, so that's, there's a sand dollar. We can add some of these spiral shells. Starts out, our spiral starts out with a little E. We can put maybe two of them. Every time I do this, it kind of looks a little different. All right, we can put, I love putting a star, a starfish kind of right in the middle of that castle. So we make a long, I like to make a long skinny triangle there. And he's got, I call them arms and legs so you can make your starfish fat or you can make it skinny we can even make another one somewhere in the picture and um, we could add some of these I call them fan shaped shells they they have that little bottom and then they come out like a fan shape I think everybody likes to make those and you make some lines on them and over here we can make another one the little bottom and make that fan shape and they're always irregular shapes so whatever you make it's gonna look nice all right don't worry about it and then we have um, we have like the some of these bigger shells right here that we can make and I'm also gonna put up on the on your lesson you'll see some shell pictures all kinds of things. So, to make this other shell, I have, I start out with this spiral, and and then I'm gonna make the shell, it almost looks like a jelly roll, okay? Like you're gonna eat that. And then at the end, we're gonna make little rectangles and they just get smaller and smaller. I call it like a birthday cake, it's smaller and smaller. And then from here, we're just gonna make that part of that shell that comes out like that. Make that wavy line. Okay, so we'll make another one over here, right here. We're gonna make that spiral. And then we're gonna make that jelly roll shape that comes out like that. And I call this the birthday cake at the end. because it's like three tiers of a birthday cake. And then I come from here and I make that wavy shell that comes out. Not too difficult. It looks difficult, but it's not. So we have that 
on there. We're gonna come back and do some more shells on our tower. Okay, you might wanna make the same thing on each side so we can have the sand dollar over here as well. Make that little sand dollar. I think everybody has a different way of making those sand dollars. And we can have the spiral shells. I think the um, little sea crabs like to live in those spiral shells. And you can add more shells anywhere you want on your picture. I like to even add some more mounds of sand. Okay, so I could do that and erase that so the sand castle looks like it's really sitting in the sand. So I like to make a few little mounds of sand coming over. Okay, so this way I can erase that line. Okay, you should try and draw lighter than I do. I draw dark so you can see it, but if you draw lightly, this way you don't have to erase so much. All right, you can even put some more waves in the water. All right, and you can go over it. I like to outline, you know, with the Sharpie. So I'm gonna start outlining. I'm gonna try and do it quickly so you can see maybe some painting. So you see how I have the, the castle, the door to my sand castle, and here are the mounds of the sand. So it doesn't look so perfect at the bottom. Okay, and I can even put some here and erase it later. And remember not to draw over that line. I'm going to try and do this quickly so that you can see it. Um, maybe we'll get started to paint a little bit. And we have our pail. And if you drew a line, try not to go over some of those lines. And if you do, it's okay. You can always just cover that up with paint. All right, and here's our shell. I just wanna get one of them outlined for you. And we have our sun. Okay, and I would have outlined the whole thing and then start to paint. Okay, so. All right, I might start with um, my ocean, and because that's kind of easy to paint in back there. And remember, you have to do a sky. So if you're painting your ocean a particular color, remember you have a sky also. So try to make sure you have different color blues. All right, so there I have the beginnings of my ocean. And I want to just quickly go ahead and start the sand and the sand castle. I would mix like my light yellow and my dark yellow. If you have that dark mustardy kind of yellow, that's kind of cool for the sand castle. Now remember when you're painting, if you put touch two colors next to each other that are wet, like if I painted very close to the water right now, the colors are gonna to run together. Now, unless you want that to happen, and sometimes you do, then you could do that. It's called wet on wet. But if you don't want that to happen, and you wanna keep the colors, just the color that you make it, then you have to be careful. Now with this yellow, if you notice, uh, I hope you can see in the video that some areas I'm making it lighter. Now to make it lighter, I just add more water. Okay, and it makes a lighter yellow. So if I wanna keep it that dark yellow color, I'm gonna mix a lot of that dark yellow and make it dark. And if I wanna keep it light, I'm gonna add more water to it. And this way it stays lighter. So you get, if you can, you look at my picture, you're gonna get variations because the sand really isn't one solid color. It's different shades of that sandy color. So that's why you can fix that. You can, you can do that with your paint. And if you really wanna add, uh, make it darker, you can add a brown. 
Okay, so inside here, like when the sand is really wet, you know, when you get the sand wet, it turn, it gets much, much darker. Now, I don't mind if the colors blend a little bit, so that's why I'm painting them so close together because it's sand, it's soft. So I don't really mind if they blend a little bit. And even the door to the castle. And then I'm gonna move on to the, the towers and then to the beach. Now I might wanna paint that beach. See, even in the doorway, I have, you can have it darker and then it gets lighter. So you see that's called blending. We've done that many times. Okay, sometimes you do do it and you don't even realize. What I might have is the sun, re, the sun, the sand, really dark in the front, and you can even mix that yellow right in with that. Okay, so that you have that mixture of the yellow and the brown. Mix it together, not in the tray, on your paper, so that this way you always have that. The, that nice yellow, dark yellow color, and you have that nice brown color. And they're not all yucky in the tray. And if you're just using it by yourself, you have that little mixing side. And remember, if you wanna blend, add water so that you can blend the two colors so that you don't see where they run into each other. And it just blends really, really nicely. Watercolors are good for that. And what I might wanna do is make some of this sand a little bit lighter, just so I can see the difference between the sand that I'm, that's here in front and the sand that's all around. It's gonna be a very sandy picture, but again, you can blend this dark yellow now with the light yellow, and you're gonna blend so that you get a nice, sandy color all around and you don't want to lose your image if i painted the whole thing that dark yellow color i wouldn't see anything so i want to paint it and mix it so that this way i have light yellows dark yellows so that i could see where the sand on the beach starts where my sand castle starts and you could just always go back and add some colors in there and blend it and make sure you add water so it'll blend. Okay, and you're gonna go ahead and make your own colors. Okay, I wanted to maybe make this, this paint pail maybe a red color. Okay, so we have a lot of, remember, I wouldn't make it the paint pail yellow because there's a lot, lot of yellow going on. So I might make sure that's a different color, the sun, the sky. I would even do some of the shells, maybe a pinkish purple color. And that's kind of cool also to make them like a pinkish pink and purple. Even the starfish. Do you know there are such things as blue starfish? All right, so you can make them all different colors and I'm doing it very quickly. The shells, I would do the, the wet on wet technique. And this way the colors will blend very, very nicely. Okay, so that's our lesson. Hope you had a good time. And I can't wait to see what you will do. As I said, you could do crayons, you don't have to paint. You might wanna paint a little bit and add color a little bit. So you can do a combination of different things. Have a great time. Use lots of colors and let me see what you do. Remember, send me your picture. Bye, guys.